Hi guys, I am back. And so today we're gonna be talking about four ways to keep your mind calm. Oh my gosh, we have so much going on in a day. You know, we have the old cell phone with alarms on it. We've got the new cell phone with alarms on it. You know, we've got our alarm clock in the morning to wake us up. Oh, okay, yes. And we've got to be to church and to work and we've got to get there on time especially with my church because I am at a mega church. So 14 ways to calm your mind started with number one, guided imagery. There's apps out there to guide you through, you know, they'll talk to you and say, oh, this looks like, you know, a beach and how does the water smell? And, you know, they have it on YouTube so you can just Google it there. You can always help someone. I love doing that. I love helping you guys find federal jobs all for free. It's a gift that God has given me and I'm so happy about it. I'm gonna do it until the day I die. Watch fish swim. That's right. Go get a fish tank, a little small one. Maybe get a little goldfish from Petco. Maybe two, but make sure you can have those two types of fish in one fish tank. So that's one way to calm your mind. Hatha yoga. I had never heard of this type of yoga, but with the movements and the breath that you incorporate with the movements, with this type of yoga will calm your mind down. And we definitely know that physical activity definitely helps with that. PMR. I have a video on progressive muscle relaxation on my video stream for my YouTube channel. So you start with your eyes and you raise your eyebrows and then you go all the way down to your feet to calm your mind. Go outside. Um, I've heard that being called forced bathing you know a good friend of mine said you need to get 15 minutes of sun in the morning and then 15 minutes of sun in the evening and it just it works you guys pet a dog I think there's like dog places that you can go and hang out with dogs for a day and of course if you have a dog um, you know playing with them will help calm your mind as well and also cats music Oh my gosh, there's sometimes my energy is just so low and I turn on a gospel song. Jason Nelson, Expect the Great. I love that song. I love the concept of it because it's training your mind to expect something good. Amen, somebody. Expect your GS14 on your job on Monday. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. No, GS14 slash 15 all in one position. We know that can happen because we serve the God of the world and our supervisors. Next, coloring books. I was like, wait a minute, I had a coloring book when I was five, but now, as you guys know, over the last few years, adult coloring books are coming back. And that sketching of back and forth, you know, that crayon going back and forth, that calms your mind. You know, also with the knitting, I think Michelle Obama took that up uh, during the pandemic. And there's so many groups that actually do that you know, it's very relaxing for your mind. Take a break, pull back, take a break, look outside, daydream. Yes, one day I'm gonna have two beautiful kids and they're gonna serve the Lord just like their mom and dad. Don't we love that? Daydream about your future, get yourself hyped up. Expect something great today. Expect somebody just to pay for your Starbucks coffee. You never know what could happen. Stretch. Let's get that going right now. Let's stretch. You know, lift your arms up while you're watching this YouTube video. Bring them to the side, circle them, and bring them down. Sometimes we just get so busy and locked in all our laptop. Okay. All right, I'm on USA Jobs. Here we go. All right, there's GS13. Oh no, there's GS14. Oh my gosh. And you're you spent two hours without a break. So we have to take breaks. I know we want to get our grades in the federal government, but God is in control of our mind and our careers. Amen, somebody. Walk around. Just get up, move around your apartment or your house. Right now, I'm in an apartment and just walking um, from room to room or going to get a snack. You know, some water, H2O. Here we go, right here. Then you can call someone. Call your mom, you know, surprise your mom and say, hey, I was just thinking about you. 
I love you. I can call my sister. I can, you know, let her know, hey, I'm just thinking about you. Or my dad. My dad, he only has like two minute conversations. He's so busy. Um, you know, so I've actually reached out to my dad to, you know, get information for my other family that are up here. So you guys, by next week, I'm going to let you know how that turns out. I have three cousins up here where I live. And so I'm giving myself a deadline by next Sunday. I'm going to be coming on and telling you how that went, you know, because I want to connect with my family and you should too. Okay, guys, that's all I have for today. I love you. I miss you. I could not let another day go by without speaking to you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.